This video is about Flask image uploading and uh, displaying the uploaded image. I wanted to show the most reliable from my point of view and the most simple way to upload images to a Flask project. I have here a very basic Flask project. I created the templates folder that contains index.html file and also there is a uploads folder. It's empty. The project has only one URL road, URL pattern that says that all requests to the root address will be handled by the upload image function. And the upload image function just renders to a user the index template. The index template has only h1 header and also I attached bootstrap to it. This is my starting point. For this Flask tutorial, I want to use the Flask reuploaded and the Flask WTF libraries. Let's install them. I use uh, Poetry Package Manager. More about it you can see in this video. Flask reuploaded allows us flexibly and efficiently handle file uploading and serving the uploaded files. We can create different sets of uploads, for example, one set for document attachments, for PDF or TXT files, the other set for photos and so on. And our Flask application can be configured to save them all in different places and to generate different URLs for them. And uh, Flask WTF I want to use to generate a form, and this form I want to use for validation just because the validation of user's input is very important. Now I have to configure my Flask app. First of all, I have to set a secret key. Usually, it's a longer random string that is used for CSRF tokens generation. Then I have to set the path where Flask will store uploaded files. The value of this will be just upload is the name of the folder I have created. This folder. And of course, you have to create the uploads directory tool or use here a different name. Then let's create a photos variable. It's an instance of the upload set class. Its first argument is the name of this upload set object. I want to name it just photos. And the second argument is extensions. I want to use the images variable. It's just a set of extensions of image files. Let's import them. The upload set is just a collection of files. We defined it and now we can use its save method to save uploaded files. Then I have to import and call the configure uploads function. The first argument is the instance of the Flask class, our app. And the second one is the photos variable. The configure uploads function will go through all upload sets, get their configuration and store the configuration on the app. Then I want to create a form I will use in the template. This form I will use to validate user's input. So let's import the Flask form class. And then let's define a new class. Upload form. It'll be a subclass of the Flask form. It will have two fields. So the first field will be the photo. It'll be an instance of the file field class. To its init method, I want to pass a list of validators. The first validator I want to use is uh, the file allowed class that will get the photos variable, our upload set, and a message. And the second validator will be the file required class with the message as an argument. And uh, the second field of the upload form will be the submit button submit field. 
and the text of the button will be upload. Now let's import all of these classes. Then in the upload image function, I want to create an instance of the upload form class. So the form variable will be an instance of the upload form. Then I want to call its validate on submit method. If form The validate on submit method is a shortcut for forms is submitted and validate methods. The validate on submit will return true if the form is submitted and if it's a valid form, if the form has no errors from validators. So if it's submitted and valid, I want to save a photo. The file name variable will be our photos. I am calling the save method and uh, passing into it the value of the data attribute of uh, form photo field data. Okay, file is saved. And now I want to get its URL and pass it into the template tool. The URL of a file I can get by using the send from directory function. So let's create a new view function get file for example and it will accept a file name as an argument and it will get the file name from the url a new route uploads for example and the file name will be saved to the file name variable and the get file function will return the result of the sent from directory function The first argument is the path of our uploads folder. I want to use this variable. And the second argument is the file name. Let's import the send from directory function from the flask. And now to generate a URL of a file, I want to call the URL for function. Let's import it to URL for from Flask. Here, if form validate on submit in this if block, the file URL variable will be the result of the URL for function. And it's uh, the first argument is the name of the view. It will be the get file, get file. I am passing it as a string and the second keyworded argument file name will be the file name. Okay, and then if the form is not valid, the file URL variable will be none. And at last I am passing into the render template function the form and the file URL. And now the template. I need a form tag. We can omit class, we can omit action. Method will be post and the uh, type attribute will have the multi-part form date value. Then, the first of all, I have to set a CSRF token here. We can do it with the hidden tag function. If there are some errors, I want to see them. You can use a flask flash function and bootstrap alerts for that. Then I want to have the button and the input field in one row. So I need a bootstrap row with uh, two columns. So let's say the row will have justify content center CSS class. It will have two columns with a call 
at uh, CSS classes. The first column will have an input field with a form control CSS class. So form photo class will be form control. And the second column will get the button with btn btn success CSS class. From submit field. That's it with the form and now I need an image tag to display uploaded images. Somewhere here I want to create an if block, if file URL present, then I want to get diff with the MT5 margin from top at 5 bootstrap units and the image will be with the file URL source attribute style I want to reduce to 400 pixels and that's it. Let's test it. The name upload set is not defined. I forgot to import it. I didn't forget. Just reload my server. Bound method form hidden tag. I forgot to call the hidden tag function in the template. Okay. Let's choose a file, upload, and we got the picture. For example, I want to choose a TOML file, upload, and I got this red notification about images. That's only images I allowed. Uploading files to Flask app is working. We can see the file, and if I'll try to upload a text, I will get the message. If you like this video about Flask upload and display image, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.